Jesus explains, focus on end times. A message from Jesus in answer to prayer. Narrated by Daniel. All scripture references are KJV. Jesus, you promised to establish our thoughts when we come to you in prayer. Therefore, please override my thoughts and any preconceived ideas that I may have and speak to me so that I can understand and share with others where we are along the end time timeline. In Jesus' name, Amen. I will speak to you plainly. I have promised that I will speak through the Holy Spirit who shall teach you all things whatsoever I have said unto you. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth, and he will guide you into all truth. He shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he hears, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Through the Spirit of wisdom and revelation, he shall give you understanding. Today, Many Christians are looking for the Antichrist to appear and sign what they call a seven-year peace agreement between the Jews and the Arab nations. This shall not happen. What shall happen is that when the man of sin first appears, he shall have come in with peace and flatteries and shall confirm a covenant a religious agreement that shall demand peace and security to allow the temple to be built in Jerusalem and for the daily sacrifice to be reinstated. This covenant shall not be recognized as a seven-year agreement. The coming man of sin shall disassociate himself from the prophecies of Daniel 9.27 and the related prophecies in the book of Daniel chapter 11 because those prophecies expose his evil intentions. Satan is already working in the shadows to promote the idea that these prophecies have been fulfilled and therefore could not apply to him or to future events. According to the word of truth, I shall now explain what is to come. Once the new world order has been accepted and all the governments of the world agree to be subject to the authority of the ten kings who shall be placed over them, then a new king shall arise. This new king shall be the man of sin, the Antichrist who is to come. He shall come in with peace and flatteries, and yet he shall need to subdue three of the ten kings who will have no kingdom at that time, but only an appointed authority to govern over the nations of the world. Then once all ten agree to give this new king their power and strength and surrender their authority over the new world order to him. He shall then become the supreme leader of the new world order, and then the ten shall receive power from the Antichrist to rule with him as kings. The man of sin shall then confirm the holy covenant to pave the way for the construction of the new temple in Jerusalem, and the daily sacrifice to begin. When the covenant is confirmed, this event shall make world news, but there shall be no mention of seven years. Only Christians who correctly understand the significance of the Daniel 9.27 prophecy shall recognize the signs of the times. End of message To find out more about end time prophecy, you may be interested to visit endtimesofficial.com. That's endtimesofficial.com. The End Times Teaching Ministry, where Bible prophecy is made simple to understand.